Well, hey there, rock stars. Sarah Rock and Robbins here coming to you live for a very quick network marketing tip of the day. As we get started, let's get acquainted. Who am I? I am Sarah Robbins, a former kindergarten teacher turned one of network marketing's very top leaders. Together with our team of over 300,000 distributors and millions of customers, we do over a billion dollars in sales every year. And I share my best practices in my best-selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business. I am also a coach inside of one of the most supportive, collaborative communities in network marketing called the Network Marketing Inner Circle. And let me just say, if you need strategy on social media marketing and network marketing, this is a place to be. All companies, all levels, it will help you to level up. Yours truly, I teach every single week inside, including workshops where we implement live Q&A and we bring in the very guest experts in social media marketing and network marketing. And this month, we're talking about social media marketing all month long. So we do hope that you'll check us out at the network marketing inner circle dot Um, Today, we are going to be talking about what is working and what's not working in social media marketing for your network marketing business in hopes that it's going to help you to grow greater, get greater engagement, and of course, more followers equals more potential customers for you and for your business. Again, we are talking about this right now inside of the Network Marketing Inner Circle. In fact, we just did an incredible Reels workshop. Reels are the real deal. One of the best ways to grow your account and engage your current followers and get new customers today. So if you're not doing them, make sure you are. But again, today we're going to be talking about what is working and what is not working for your social media strategy. Now, let me just say, I use social media as a tool and really I use it to help me to build my business. So I, in fact, have generated the majority of my leads online. So I'm a student of this stuff. I really love social media marketing specifically for our business. All right, before we talk about what is working, let's talk about What is not working on social media today? You know, if you have not developed a system and maybe if you don't have a coach, I highly recommend that you do because you want to stay up to date with the latest for social media marketing because this stuff changes by the day. It really changes by the minute. I mean, it's pretty incredible how much that it grows and evolves. But for 2022, here's what you need to know is not working so much anymore. First and foremost, not regularly posting. So not really having a strategy. You want to be the post that regardless of what is happening in the algorithms, people know, hey, she's got great value. I'm going to see what it is that she is posting today. So you're posting regularly. Write this down. I love to say a post a day keeps leads coming your way. A post a day keeps leads coming your way. Now, here's the cool thing. They should not all be about your business. They should not all be about your business. Okay, so that leads me to the next point. What is not working? Selling. Selling is not working. On social media marketing, when it comes to success in our business, you want to focus on storytelling versus selling, giving, not getting. But I'm telling you what, you could go and create these great reels and get bunches of new followers and they will follow, unfollow you as quickly as they follow you. So I always say every post comes with a price. So post on purpose. Really think about, am I serving my audience? Next, what is not working? Long captions. Nobody has time. Nobody has the focus to read your paragraph. So that should take a little bit of pressure off from you as you think about posting, keeping it short and sweet. Next, what is not working? Not asking questions, not engaging your audience and making it all about me, right? And last but not least, single image posts. And why not single image posts? I want you guys to think about it this way. The reason why you don't want to have single image posts is it's not a lot of time that you are actually engaging people on your content. So that's one of the things that they're looking at in the algorithm, right? Is they're thinking about who's engaging in this post, the amount of time that's being spent on your post as well. So let's shift into what is working. This is some strategy again, all month long in the network marketing inner circle. 
we are focusing on social media marketing for network marketing. We're giving great tips on engagement. In fact, we're giving posting prompts, what to post, what to say every single day to keep leads coming your way and so much more. But these are just high level. Some of the things that you can focus on and you can do now and you can implement for your social media success. All right, first and foremost, narrowing down your niche and thinking about who am I talking to when I post, right? Who's my avatar? Who's my ideal client? If you've switched over your, uh, your Instagram account to a creator account or even to a business account, you're going to have some better insights. You can actually go. So I have a business account. I go to my insights tab. I can actually see who's following me. Are they men and women? What countries are they tuning in from? What age group? Which really helps me to know who am I speaking to? Also think about who's your ideal client, who's your ideal customer, who's your average consultant. Like when you go to a convention, who is it that you're seeing? This helps you to be more intentional when you post. And make sure, by the way, when you narrow down your niche, that you optimize, optimize your bio, baby. We did that in our five-day challenge and we talked about, right, who do you help, what do you help them do, and through what? I help busy mamas work from home and get the best skin of their lives through America's number one skincare brand. For a fun, fast, free skin quiz, click here, right? That's your bio, okay? Because you want your bio to be a source of passive prospecting for you. If they find your reel in the news feed or if they meet you even in person and they connect you online, they want to know immediately, who is this person and how can they help me? And sometimes, too, it even leads them to say, I want to try. I want to buy. This is pretty cool here, okay? So make sure you optimize your bio. Next, post on purpose and post every day. A post a day keeps leads coming your way. But remember, every single post comes with a price. So make sure that you're a giver of great value. You're focusing on serving versus selling, right? Because here's the thing, you guys. If you're, if you, if when you, every day when you're posting, you're thinking, what's going to make that work at home mom? What's going to make her life easier or better? That's going to cause her to say to her friends, hey, you've got to follow this girl on social media, right? More followers equals potential customers for your business. So let's say you're in health and wellness. Could you post some healthy lunch hacks? Could you post your favorite water bottle to get in all of the water? Could you be posting five-minute workout routines? Okay, I want you to be thinking about ways that without saying buy or try, you can add value to your ideal client. So this way, when you're in stories, you're subtly selling and you're sharing and you're showcasing, using your products as you're talking about your day, people are going to say, what is that, right? Because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. So focus on serving versus selling and you're sprinkling in those power posts, which we're talking all about inside of the network marketing inner circle. Okay, next, clever captions with clear calls to action. You always want to make sure that you add in a clever caption, nice, short, and succinct, succinct, but a really clear call to action as well. What do you want people to do? You always want them to save it, to share it, to comment on it. But here's the great thing. If you, add, if you end your caption with a question, asking them something, right? What is your favorite this? How do you get your workout in? What is your favorite healthy at-home lunch? When you get people commenting, that's engagement, which means your post will be seen by more people in your audience as well. So always on those captions, keep them short, succinct, end with a question, give a clear call to action. Hey, if you found this useful, save this post. Share it in the inbox with a friend. Drop a heart in the comments if you agree. Instagram, Facebook looks at any engagement as engagement. So you don't want them to have to write a paragraph back short and sweet, okay? Keep the conversation going in the comments, by the way. If they respond, make sure to respond with a question, turn it into conversation, and get more engagement. By the way, if you didn't watch last week's uh, live video or listen to it on the podcast, the Rockstar Recruiting School podcast, you can get all of my tips, my top 10 tips, under five minutes, on engagement, engaging your audience as well. And last but not least, remember more time spent on your posts. So that means no single image posts, the carousel posts where they're scrolling through those multiple pictures or your reels as well. Reels are the real deal, you guys. 
So I hope these tips help you guys to rock your social media marketing in network marketing. Does it? Let me know. If so, make sure you share it with a rock star on your team. For more free tips to help you to rock your network marketing business, head over to prospectingguide.com and pick up our free language and scripts to help you rock your network marketing business. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Have a great day. God bless. Goodbye for now. And rock on, rock stars. We'll talk to you real soon.